Welcome to Core Kinds Today for August 4th, 2023. This is the show where I break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting right now, including ESPN being spun off into its own company. Is Disney getting ready to dump the sports giant? We'll tell you everything we've learned about that. Warner Brothers Discovery's Mac streaming service is going to add live sports and live news. We'll have some details there. And we got some financial earnings from Warner Brothers Discovery. This and a whole lot more coming up here in a quick second. First though, if you want to learn more about these stories, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. I'll put a link to each story I talk about so you can read about them for yourself and come up with your own opinions. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here or you've been here a while, do me a favor, help us grow, help us support our families. Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow helping us support families, and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. All right, let's dive into it. Just a few weeks ago, we learned that Disney was considering selling a share in ESPN off to a strategic partner that would help them launch their dedicated streaming service. ESPN, for some time now, has had a project called Operation Flagship going that is a dedicated um, streaming service that will launch maybe in 2025 or late 2024, we don't know. Um, but we'll offer all the ESPN channels streaming directly to you. Would not surprise me at all if this runs through the ESPN Plus app and it's just a extra add-on on top of ESPN Plus. But they, Disney said that they're looking for strategic partners. Corner Reports have talked to the NFL, NBA, and other leagues about uh, partnering on this. They've talked to tech giants. And it wouldn't surprise me if they're talking to tech giants about distribution or maybe some technical support on this and more. But now, according to CNBC, they say sources familiar with the subject says that if Disney fails to find a strategic partner, that they may consider spinning off ESPN into its own company. I suspect this would be very much like what we saw with uh, AT&T spinning off DirecTV. AT&T still owns a majority of DirecTV. They did bring in an um, investor group to help with it, but technically it operates independently of AT&T. They reap a bunch of profit, but don't have to put any of its negative um, impacts on its earnings report. Disney could do the same. They could still maintain a majority control of ESPN. I think they own about 80% currently um, and still have it be independent so it doesn't report on the uh, Disney earnings reports. So they don't have to say, hey, look, we had a negative impact with it. Now, ESPN was long seen as a safe harbor as sports is very popular. It still could be. But with the growth of cord cutting, it's definitely being hit hard. A lot of people who in mass paid for ESPN but never watched it are going away. And now they're facing the reality that, hey, we, we have a huge customer base, but now we have to support the business exclusively on sports fans, which is a large amount of people. Some of the most watched television program is sports, specifically the NFL, for example. So we'll see how this all plays out. But I don't think this is them selling it off as much as it will be for Disney spinning it off, is what CNBC said, for them to retain a majority control, still be able to pull a lot of the profits without having the negative impacts on it. We'll keep a close eye on this, but very interesting. Speaking of sports, Warner Brothers Discovery had their earnings call yesterday, and during it they announced that their new Mac service, formerly known as HBO Max, now supports live streaming. It's all set up, and it, they'll be able to soon offer uh, sports and live news. Now they stopped there. They said very soon we'll have more to say, but for now, Max is capable of streaming it. They will offer sports and they will offer some type of news. Uh, Bloomberg back in June reported that um, CNN would start streaming internationally on Max and with some streaming content in the United States. What that means, I don't know. Live international? Are we going to get like the CNN Pluto TV version, which is just a bunch of clips of recent news stories from CNN streaming on Max? Maybe, but they did talk about the added benefit of live news and live sports to help grow Max during the call. We'll see how that plays out. One of the things they kind of hinted at, that live sports in particular may not be available in all tiers. Maybe you're going to need the $15.99 or higher plans in order to get it, for example. That's speculation. But they did say, you know, it's an added value that maybe the cheaper ad support plan won't include. I don't know. Maybe you're going to need to get the 4K new expensive high end plan. We'll have to wait and see. But they did say soon they will be offering that. 
Now this comes as uh, um, Max lost 1.8 million subscribers, which is not great during its launch quarter. But there were some very interesting things here that makes Warner Brothers Discovery very excited, including the fact that streaming losses are down to just $3 million in the quarter. That's still a lot of money, but that's nothing compared to the same period last year where they lost $558 million in a single quarter on streaming. This comes as Warner Brothers' um, heavy cost-cutting efforts have finally started to pay off, and they're now offering um, content more profitable, and they expect that Max to be profitable this year, which may mean they're profitable before Disney Plus will be profitable. We'll have to wait and see. Or Paramount Plus and Peacock even will be profitable. We'll see. Disney's pushing hard also to become profitable. We'll have to wait for a third quarter to get an idea of when that may happen. But they've also announced um, that they're going to partner with NFL Sunday Ticket to offer a Max and NFL Sunday Ticket bundle. We don't know pricing. We don't know details on that, but that is coming also. The other big thing that came from the Warner Brothers Discovery um, earnings call yesterday was the fact that AT&T Sportsnet, their regional RSNs, will shut down by the end of the year. They did not give a whole lot of details other than to say they've worked with the sports teams to ensure that they will either sell off that um, uh, channel, which Houston's um, channel may be one of the um, first. Apparently, the um, Rockets and the Astros are in talks to buy that AT&T Sportsnet. But... Uh, Beyond that, they said that the team, they've worked with the teams to help them ensure that they'll be able to get their TV rights back and there will be a plan to transition them off of those networks. Basically saying AT&T um, sports nets, the RSNs, are not profitable, not worth it. We'll have to see. No exact date other than to say by the end of this year, so a few more months left, it's hard to believe we're already in August, this um, AT&T sports nets will shut down. So keep a close eye on that. RSNs are in a tough spot. We've seen Valley Sports fighting for its life over there. We'll see what happens. Now, I think Valley Sports is going to be fine in the long run. I just think it's going to look very different once it's out of bankruptcy. We'll see how that all plays out. But at and Sportsnets are shutting down. Well, let me know. Are you affected by this? Are you worried by this? Or are you excited that maybe your teams will come to a non-RSN channel? Leave me a comment. Let me know. All right, let's keep moving along. Pluto TV now has over 300 live channels. They've been really adding a lot of content and they've added a ton of on-demand content to it. If you haven't tried out Pluto TV or you tried it out in the past and you thought, man, this is a bunch of old B-roll stuff, the quality of the content is a lot better. Starting now, you can watch five live 24-7 feeds of the Big Brother house. They're partnering with the CBS program Big Brother. You can watch the highlights each week there, the produced content, or at any time through Pluto TV for free. You can jump in and watch it for free on Pluto TV. They're also adding a ton of other stuff, including one of the things I'm excited about, the 1980s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. The original is streaming for free on Pluto TV right now, just in time for the new movie that's in theaters. All right, let's keep moving along. Another streaming service, Amazon Freebie, Amazon's free ad support streaming service, announced that it has launched 31 channels and more are on the way. These include a lot of local news channels from um, NBC, so you can watch your local news, but also ones like Bravo Volt, a bunch of older Bravo content, Dateline 24-7, Golf Pass, some Spanish programming, SNL Vault, classic SNL content, it's 24-7 streaming, Real Housewives Vault, Rotten Tomatoes, and more Top Chef, Today All Day, so a continuous feed of the Today Show. But it also will be launching later this year a, um, I think, Ghost Hunters. That was the channel I was looking for. I apologize. Reading and talking doesn't always work well for me. Ghost Hunters, a dedicated 24-7 channel they announced will come. Often, they don't really announce what's going to come until it comes. So expect more to be added in the weeks and months to come. But for now, you can expect a Ghost Hunters channel to come live soon. And lastly, have you ever bought things on Amazon and wondered, hey, you know, are there safety recalls? Is there anything I've ever bought on Amazon I should be worried about? Good news, Amazon now has a page dedicated for product recalls. So if you're ever concerned that maybe you missed an email from Amazon and you're eligible for a free refund on something, if you go in the show notes down below, we have a story there that links directly to this page. It's a really nice feature, give you a peace of mind that you can easily find and easily do a recall return on a product. I got this because we uh, got Jif peanut butter. It's kind of funny, it was Jif peanut butter was from years ago, but when they did the recall, we got a notification from it. So in that recall for me is Jif. Now, I'm kind of surprised. I buy a lot on Amazon, and that was about it in my 
um, product returns. So, but if you are ever wondering if you missed a product return, if you're eligible for some money back or to exchange a product, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back this weekend with a special video, but I will also have um, right here on Monday, another core cutting today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families, and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of cable TV. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.